Today I asked you to take this shape, which is a quadrilateral, and to show a dilation factor of two and a half. So two dilations, one with a factor of two, one with a factor of a half, and what are the coordinates? What's my first step here? What should I do first in order to start heading in the right direction with this question? Mariam. You should find the coordinates and label the coordinates of the original shape. Perfect. Label the coordinates and um, like say A, B, C, D. So now that we've labeled our points, what are we going to do now? We've got the points labeled. My first step, my next step is, no? what are you multiplying by two? All the coordinates. Who wants to come show me what they did? Taha, come up. Explain how you would show me a dilation factor of two. So what do you do? So we can start with uh, A. So the coordinates are negative 8 and 0. So what you want to do, you want to multiply both of these coordinates by 2 because the uh, factor is 2, right? So you want to, if you multiply negative 8 by 2, what you would get is negative 16. So then when we find negative 16, which would be right over here. So then we can label that over there. No, so that's negative 16, and then we do 0, but you can't multiply 0 by 2 because it will just be 0. So we just leave it on this line. So over here, this would be A. And then the next one for B. A prime, right? Uh, oh, yeah, A prime. And then <coughs> for B, the two coordinates are negative 2 and 4. So if you multiply negative 2 uh, by 2, you would get negative 4. So over here, negative 4. <coughs> negative 4 is over here. And if you multiply 4 by 2, you get 8. So uh, 8 would be here. And then that would be over there. This is where B prime would be. Prime. And the next coordinate, C, it's negative 6 and negative 4. So you would multiply negative 6 by 2 and negative 4 by 2. So it would be 12 and 8. So 12 is over here. And then you want to go 8 uh, down. So over here. So it would be it's right there. So this becomes C prime. And then the last one, D. Negative 2, negative 2. If you multiply <coughs> both of these by 2, be uh, negative 4 and negative 4. So negative 4 over here and negative 4 right there, which will meet over here. So this is uh, D prime. And then you will just put, uh, match the lines, so match the dots, and you will get the shape. Who wants to share their method of doing the next one, which is multiplying it by a factor of a half. Aliyah, come on up. So show us what you did. So the first thing we did is that we, instead of multiplying the coordinates by two, we divided them by two. So A would be um, negative four and zero. So it would be right here and right here. So that will be A prime. You can call this A prime prime. Two, oh. two little guys. And then B would be negative one and negative and negative one two. So one two. And the first C we did um, negative three and negative two. For D, it is negative two. Negative two should be one one. 
and then I co connected the lines. So when if, whenever the factor, when it says by a factor of whatever, so if the factor is anywhere between 0 and 1 for now, because it'll change later on, are you enlarging the uh, shape or are you reducing its size? If the factor is between 0 and 1, what are you doing? Tahir. Right, because any anything between 0 and 1 is a fraction. It's not quite 1 yet. If I asked you with the original image, dilate this by a factor of 1, what would you do? Allie. It would just be by 1 and the shape would be the same. Yeah, it would just be the same. So like on the computer, it's like hitting copy. Control C. It just makes a copy of what you just did. And it doesn't necessarily move it. Okay. So if it's one or higher, you are enlarging it. Okay. And we talked about where we see these things in real life. We saw that on your on your web browser. If you want to increase the size, especially if you're using a Chrome browser on the top right hand corner, if you want to zoom in, it'll say like plus 150% or plus 200%. 150%, what would that equal if it had to be a number <coughs> on, um, on this scale as not a percent? What would 150% be? Shades from our last unit here. Tim. One point five, and if it was a fraction, it would be one and a half, and then two hundred percent would be a factor of two, which is the same as a fraction, anyways. Okay, so you'll see that as a percent, and then if you look at sports, um, the logo on the on the shirt, especially in hockey, much bigger than the little logo on their helmet that could also be viewed as a dilation. Okay, so it all, they are found everywhere you look in life. If you look at buildings, if you look at certain artwork, you will find dilations everywhere. <coughs>